Hello and welcome to the Stamp Camp. I'm Glenda Calkins, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I am going to be showing you a one sheet wonder using the Country Gingham 6x6 designer series paper. We are going to create four cards from just one sheet. Let's change the camera and get started. All right, so I paired the Country Gingham Designer Series paper, which I will bring in. This is some of the pieces in the pack. It is double-sided and it is on the retired list. And But when I was doing the video recording, it was still available to purchase. I picked this bundle of paper with my Share a Milkshake bundle for my April Stamp Set of the Month class. In the class, you will make four cards. They're all fun fold cards using this right here. So in the class, you do get the bundle. You'll get all the cut card stack to create those four cards. You'll get the rhinestones that are needed. You will get the PDF file. You get the video tutorial with step-by-step -step for each of the four cards. Plus, you will get bonus cards that you can create at home with your bundle. So you might wanna pick up that pack of the gingham paper and tonight I'm going to show you the four different cards, one sheet wonder using this print right here. I'm gonna go a little bit off script, so to say, <laughs> because I have not created it with this yet. I've done this one sheet wonder, but not with this paper print. So let's see what happens, right? So I am gonna take this six by six and I am going to mark, get my pencil here, one and a half inches, make sure I can see my mark, on all the sides. So I'm just gonna turn it and make that mark at one and a half, and we're gonna do that on all four sides. Now you may have seen this one sheet wonder before. I personally have not ever done it before, so it's new to me, but you may have seen it before, but probably not with this paper or this bundle. So I have my marks. So here's my one and a half there, and then I see it over here. So what I'm gonna do is place that in my trimmer here, lining up my marks in the track, and then I'm going to cut. Keeping it together, I'm going to turn it to these two marks. So I want to keep my paper exactly six by six. Line up those two marks. I thought this paper would be very cool for this particular one sheet wonder paired with that sheer milkshake because this paper here, this print, reminds me of a picnic. And in the summertime, probably if you live in the winter states like I do, in the summertime, you love to enjoy your ice cream and your shakes. So I think this reminds me of a picnic with the ice cream. And that kind of reminds me of like a picnic. Maybe it's just me, but that we're gonna attach all those just like that. I am gonna do a little bit different twist. All right, that one's not working. Always have a backup, at least I try to. If I don't, I use my, let's see, this has to go like this. I always try to have a backup on hand. If not, my glue, my liquid glue is always right here. Now I can see a little bit of that pencil mark, so I'm just gonna go in and erase those marks. So I think these are, I haven't done it with this print. I'll show you a print that I did do it with from the Country Gingham. So I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna do, but I haven't seen it done in this print. And it's gonna kind of be, well, not totally monochromatic. That's why we will see what happens here. I might have to add in a color, but in my head, which not always, doesn't always look so good. 
it is going to be semi monochromatic. All right, so now we have our one sheet wonder pieces. So I, what I'm going to do is two of the cards I'm going to leave vertical like this, and then two of them I'm going to create them horizontally. So it just gives you a different feel, different look. You can decide. You can make all four cards the same or change them up. My card base is the Sweet Sorbet, and that's 5.5 by 8.5. We're just going to fold these all in half. Now, like I said, if you want more details on my Stamp Set of the Month class, which features the Share a Shake bundle, you have until next week, Wednesday, to register for this class. I'll send you a PayPal invoice, and you will be getting all this great supplies or good su goody supplies when it comes in. Okay, so I am going to, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Sweet Sorbet ink and I'm going to take the Celebrate from the stamp set and bravely <laughs> stamp on my card front. So these are going to go this way. So far, so good. Probably mess it up on this last one. I see I had a little bit of a smudge. Wipe that off. Whew, it worked. All right, so now I can go ahead and attach these to my card base. I think this share a milkshake with the country gingham prints is a win-win. Perfect match. When I do my one sheet wonders, I like to give you the same size paper pieces with different layouts. That way you can choose which you like best. You can make them all the same or change them up, make them all different. The choice is yours. All right, so now comes the decorating part. So the beauty of the sweet share a milkshake bundle is that it has coordinating dies that go with it. So fun, love that. If you are like me, I don't know, maybe you aren't, but I will stamp a bunch these were the colors I used from the Country Gingham paper. So I've got them all ready to go here. And I just need to, let's see, decide which shapes I'm going to use on which card. And I have a spoon. Isn't that cute, the spoon? It's the silver foil. Love that. And then I have, we're going to do this with a little straw. And let's see. We're going to do this, this. This. This one is going to be a waffle cone. I'm going to show you how to detail that little puppy out. Let's see. We're going to get our all our little... Well, there's an apple. We might use that. I don't know. It's going to blend in, but we'll see. Here's some more red. Some more there, maybe another there. We'll see, this will get me started at least. 
All right. We'll save the waffle cone for last. We'll do this one first. So I'm going to just pop up our little milkshake jar here. And that is going to go like so, I think. Whoops, there we go. The little ice cream has a little slit in it. That slit is pretty tight. I might save that for one. And then the spoon will fit right in that little slit. Or you can put the straw in there. But I like to put the, feed the spoon in and then take the dimensional and then attach that dimensional to the spoon and the ice cream back here. I think it just holds it in place. I don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding out. Put that on there like that. For the straw, I'm going to just take a little liquid glue. I probably just put my dimensional in the wrong spot. We will see. Ah, perfect. So we're going to put that in there. Isn't that cute? Now we're going to come in with those rhinestones and we'll put some of the bigger ones there and then we'll put I like to put a little rhinestone on my ice cream like so isn't that cute doesn't that remind you of summertime I am going to put a piece of white on the inside And then I have some scrap of the same print from another card I did. So I'm going to cut this down to five and a quarter. And by three-fourths of an inch. And we'll put this across the bottom. Now you could also stamp your little ice cream on the inside. A little bit long. Just a hair. See how good I am at cutting. All right, so that's how you can decorate the inside. So that's card number one. I'll just stick it off to the side here. Now we'll do this one. So we're going to take the little jar here or ice cream container. And we're going to pop that up. I used the crumb cake on that right there. And then we're going to pop this up. like so and then maybe I'll do another scoop like that and you know what maybe I'll put another spoon in there I should have did that first here's a spoon let me see if I can't Well, I'll leave that one like that. We'll put the spoon in this one. Make sure that it's staying in the perimeter here. Put it up like that. It should be fine. Put our dimensional on there. There we go. We'll put this one underneath. There we go. Cute. 
love that. It does move a little bit, but it is stuck in there. Isn't that cute? All right, let's put the jewels on. And then we'll put a little one maybe on this one right there. Cute. All right, so this one. Let's get my dimensionals on here. Like that. Um, there's little like foams of whipped cream. I'm wondering if we put that on. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. Make it a little bit different. All right. And then there's another little one that can go on the smaller ice cream. Let's see if I can find that. That's the big one. Let me dump out my pieces here. Oh, actually, that was the little one. This is the big one. Let's see if I can get that off. Yep. That goes on the little scoop. I suppose it could go on the big one, too, but we'll put it on the little scoop. And then this one will go on the bigger scoop, like so. So cute. All right, so now we're going to pop that up I'm going to just do one, I think, just so my layers don't get kind of I gotta move it over just a hair. Gotta stay in within our perimeter. Okay, then we're gonna do these. We're gonna kind of layer our scoops here. So cute. We could do a little cherry on top. Maybe we'll put it there. And I don't think I'm going to pop it up only because we have all that other stuff popped up. Cute. Put our jewels on. Put our little gem here. Maybe I'll put it on the apple. Oh, that's not set up yet. I'll put it. Mm, I don't like it there. We'll put it over there. Cute. All right, so for our waffle cone, you're going to take your crumb cake ink and your blending brush, and you're going to brush over the top. Look how my, that makes that detail from the die pop. Pretty cool. You can go as dark as you like, as light as you like, but that really brings out that detail. Now I'm gonna flip that over and I'm gonna come into the top here only because I'm going to show you. All right. So now it's got score lines. So you fold in on those score lines just like that. And that's your waffle cone. And then you're going to take your liquid glue. I can probably do it with the mono or the stamp and seal. All right. Now that is going to be on here. And I think I'm going to just stick that directly down so, because it is already kind of dimensionalized by the fold and everything. So we're going to put that there. And then we're going to put in our, I think I want two big ones. We're going to put in 
and I'm going to put that one at the top. I'll put this one and that one to the side. Like so. And then this one will tuck behind like that. So cute. Now, what do we do? Do we put an, uh, yeah, that looks pretty cute. We'll put that on. I'm just going to put a little adhesive on there. Like so. And then, where's my thing? We'll put the rhinestones. Like so. Cute. So here are your four, get them all in here, four One Sheet Wonder cards using one six by six of that Country Gingham Designer Series paper and the Share a Milkshake bundle. Aren't they adorable? All right, so I'm going to show you the other print from that Country Gingham. So some of these are just a little bit different because I incorporated that petal pink in there with the sweet sorbet. So what do you think? I kind of think the white background makes it a little bit more summertime feel, especially with that red check. I don't know what it is with the red check. It just reminds me of picnic, summertime, but so cute. If you need any of the supplies, please visit my blog, www.thestampcamp.com. You'll find the direct link under the video. You'll find the supply list to all the supplies that I use today under the video as well. I do appreciate any and all orders. If you would like to join my Share a Milkshake class for April, email me, glenda at thestampcamp.com, and I will send you the PayPal invoice for the class kit. It does include the Share a Milkshake bundle. If you already own the bundle, just substitute for a different bundle. The kit and everything will be for the Share a Milkshake, but your bundle can be any bundle you want. Same price or less. If it's more, you just pay the difference. That is it for today. Thanks for stopping by.